at his home. Uh, he asked uh, Shirley and me to come and have lunch with him. <clears throat> and then he, um, he had lunch. He did, as usual, he ate next to nothing, one spoonful. Uh, he'd always been this heavy smoker. We slept in the same room in Korea in an uh, officer's billets at um, 4 o'clock in the morning. I knew he was up because I'd hear the strike of a match on a uh, matchbox for a cigarette, and I would hear, that was the first inhale, right down to his toes. He ate very little. He drank well. Uh, he strained himself uh, to the utmost. And uh, by the time we saw him, uh, he had had a lung operation. I don't know how much of the lung was removed, possibly the whole thing. He had cancer of the lung. And uh, he uh, decided he was going to give us a ride around the estate up at Pauling. And he had a Jeep vehicle, and it bounced all over, you know? I said, Ed, you shouldn't be doing this, you know? I was afraid that he would be injuring himself. Oh, it's all right. And we stopped in front of a church where he pointed to it. He says, that's for them as needs it. And uh, we, we had nothing of really any consequence to say. Uh, when I was back at CBS, he came back um, after his operation, and he saw me in the, from the hallway, and I saw him. We both lunged at each other and embraced each other, and he was very happy to see me. <laughs>